This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Lethal Company is the new indie darling that has exploded in popularity in the last few months, reaching the top 20 most played games on Steam at the time of writing. So I thought it'd be funny to go investigate what the negative reviews have to say about it. Because as we all know, Steam review sections are always filled with completely normal, well-rounded individuals with nothing but the most sensible takes about video games, right? But before we take a proper look, there's a sort of rite of passage that we need to get out of the way first. So let me just do the honors real quick. <clears throat> Add sex, can't sex the bracken, can't sex the dog, sad face, can't sex the spiders, can't sex the bracken, no sex with monsters, let me- Oh. This one's- this one's not. Oh, this one's- oh, nice. This- nice. That's good. Anyway. Add sex to bracken, can't sex the dog, sad face. Lethal Company has taken the world by storm, but if we take a gander at the negative reviews, not everyone's so impressed. This game is horrific, and I don't mean in a scary way, it's arse. The scariest part is about how many people think this game's good. Lethal Company? I'd rather get the lethal injection! Boo! Lack of being able to see anything was a massive turnoff. Enable society's pit- society's pit- what does that even mean? Just go ahead and read a couple of the lobby names. This game should have never existed. Okay, I don't know if I just picked a bad day for it or something, but these lobby names are incredibly tame. You see worse than this in practically every popular multiplayer game on the planet. I like it, but I'm a hater. It's a good game, I'm just a contrarian. You know, these two reviews can probably sum up like 90% of the negative reviews in every game. Terrible dev, how does he expect you to survive? I don't- I don't think I get this one. What does Surfshark have to do with- This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, the world's wettest VPN. Get it? Cause it's a shark! If you want to play old source games or community Minecraft servers or Dead by Daylight or something, then you might be at risk of some loser script kiddie stealing your IP and DDoSing your internet. So I use Surfshark VPN to completely eradicate that issue from my life. Surfshark VPN protects your online data and activities from anyone who may want to intercept or interfere with them. And video games aren't the only form of entertainment improved by the use of a VPN. Streaming services like Netflix are infamous for region-gating content due to licensing restrictions. And a VPN allows you to spoof your location to dozens of countries all over the world. So you can watch any region-locked content that you could possibly desire. If you click the link in the description, you can get an exclusive Surfshark holiday deal and enter promo code H2 for up to six additional months free. That link's a great deal and it helps me keep making videos for this channel. So thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Since we're talking about negative reviews, I want to briefly talk about one that like actually unironically makes me angry. I do recommend the game, but the game quickly becomes a snooze fest after the 15 hour mark. Now at 20 hours, I feel burnt out. I'm happily awaiting more content for this early access game. This one, it makes me a little bit furious. This guy is mad that they got 20 hours of enjoyment from a game. 20? hours for something that costs £8.50 on Steam. It costs more than that to go to a cinema and see a movie. You know, it costs more than that to buy a movie to watch in your own home. Even in the games industry, 20 hours usually costs more than this. I beat Doom Eternal in about 10 hours and that's a $60 game. Apparently a precedent has been set by these free-to-play games that get constant updates that you can play for thousands of hours. 20 hours of content for this price is an absolute bargain. Not to mention that this game is in early access and it's getting pretty regular updates. It got an update just not too long ago that added a whole bunch of stuff. It added some spray paint and a gun and some funny new little ship things you can buy and it also added... them. If this number of hours in a game that will definitely be updated dozens of times in the future isn't enough for you, then I honestly don't know what you want from any game. But wait, just wait a minute. This just in, breaking news. This game is good and all, but the owner is a furry. A furry made this. Oh, a fu uh, pack it up, everyone. Pack it up. Stop having fun. Go pack it up. Go home. It's not. It's annoying that if you even come across most enemies, you're doomed and can't do anything about it. I feel like I haven't been playing the same game as this guy. The game is actually very good at giving you counterplay to most of the monsters. Whenever you first find a monster, you can press mouse two to scan it, and this then lets you go to the monitor in your ship and read about that enemy. These little walls of text tell you all about the creature and how to best avoid it. 
avoided it. So you can learn about the weakness of certain enemies, like how Brackens will walk away from you if you glance at them, but if you stare at them, they'll come charging towards you. Or how coil heads only move when you aren't looking. Or the new Nutcracker enemies only being able to see you if you're moving. The game gives you knowledge that lets you survive against the monsters you find. But even outside of that, the game also has weapons. You can buy shovels and a zap gun and you can pick up a shotgun off the new Nutcracker enemy. They can be tough to use effectively, but it's a way to fight back against most of the enemies that you'll find. The game absolutely gives you the tools to avoid enemies, like most of the time. Now, that's not to say that you don't sometimes just get screwed over though. God. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dead, dead, dead. I think he's... What the fuck just happened to you? Because, you know, sometimes the world just ain't cut out for you. There were a lot of reviews that all talked about basically the same thing. It's just endless fetch quests. Fun game, but needs a greater goal. I mean, this is kind of true. You go gather items to sell to the guy, and then you go to another place to go gather more items to sell to the guy, and it just never ends. This is certainly true, and maybe they should add some sort of greater goal into the game, but personally, this never bothered me. It's got a similar vibe to a game like Minecraft, or maybe even Slime Rancher or something. There's not really much of a greater goal to the majority of the things you do, but doing the stuff is the fun part. There's no greater objective, but going in to the facility and collecting stuff amongst all the spooky monsters is the reason the game's fun in the first place. So for me, the overarching greater goal is having fun. And this is made even more fun with your friends. I'm Dutch. I got it. I got it. He's I Dutch. Got it, He's got it. D don't worry. Don't worry about it. Man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I, the landline is right on me. But I, don't worry. I got it, man. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> This game with friends is an absolute blast, but it goes without saying that without other people to play it with, it's not quite the same. My main problem with this game is that it simply doesn't feel fun if you don't have a group to make it fun. If you're a solo player like me, this ain't it. Turns out that this game is very clearly designed with multiplayer in mind. The game's not particularly fun on your own, and pretty much everyone in the negative reviews and positive reviews agreed with this. Everyone except this guy, apparently who thinks it's somehow better on your own. Well, everybody except this freak agrees that Lethal Company is definitely a game best experienced with friends. And I would absolutely have to agree with that. I don't think there's any world where I would really play this game on my own. Because despite being a sort of horror game, the thing that really makes this game shine is the comedy. Who is in Fortnite? Oh! I'm alive! Oh, fuck. This humor is pretty much the entire selling point of the game. Without it, the game just isn't the same. But even if you're super into the horror aspect of it, it still kind of just sucks when you're on your own. See, the game is designed around your microphone. When you talk to your friends, the enemies can hear you. You have to be quiet as you sneak past blind enemies, you know, stuff like that. But when you're on your own, you have absolutely no reason to use your microphone at all. You could very easily just unplug it and and skip over that entire aspect of the game. But if that wasn't already bad enough for solo players, then the game also gets significantly more difficult when playing alone. The quota that you have to reach doesn't scale with player numbers. So a single player has to get the same amount of loot from each planet as a group of four people do. And if your entire team of four players wipes, your punishment is that you lose all the scrap in your ship. But a single player dying alone just one time also incurs that exact same penalty, which doesn't exactly feel fair. So yeah, all these reviews definitely have a point. Playing the game solo really just kind of sucks, but even if you don't have anyone to play it with, there's at least a server browser that lets you join the lobbies of other random players. So if that sort of thing tickles your fancy, then you don't have to play it alone after all. Lethal Company is a game that clearly thrives in multiplayer. You and the boys getting on a spaceship and going into monster infested buildings looking for random crap that you find on the floor. And Lethal Company might just be the most clippable game I've ever played. So to end this video off, please enjoy this compilation of all the dumbest clips that me and my friends have gotten in our time playing this game. Hey guys. Google died. Yeah, I know, I saw. I was outside Did when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> and so- OH MY-
Oh, piercing cock and penis. Nah. 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 What the fuck? You good? I know <laughs> I'm not good, Flares. I don't think he knows yet. <laughs> you just have to stand. I'm going to stand here. You go loot get. I'm standing yeah. right here. Yeah. There's a shadow! Oh, for oh my god, we're so doomed. We're so doomed. We're so doomed. We're so doomed. There's a thumper as well. Oh my fucking Christ. Oh my god! Oh! Sharon, come this way, this way. Left, left, left. No! For fuck's sake. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Out here. <laughs> <laughs> There's no dogs. Okay, I thought I heard an eyeless dog, but I'm pretty sure it was my cat snoring. Don't, uh, don't even think about it. Oh! Oh! Mood is set. Oh, guys, come back what? to my shit, bro. What the? We don't want to talk. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. We don't Did you kill Sharon? No, we don't talk about it. I don't know what happened to him. I just saw him. He was smart. He was just smart. He was just like this. H2. H2. One sec. A life for a life. No, what do you mean? I literally didn't do anything to him. H2, I literally H2, didn't touch him. him. Dude, there's, there's blood marks all over him. Yeah, I, he was him? like that when I saw. I found him like that. On three. No, don't. What the fuck? Did don't do him? it. Don't do it. You know you don't want to. Murderers you know are not him. welcome on the ship. We didn't like that Charon guy anyway. We didn't like him. No, no. We didn't like. No, stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are we? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what is this? What? It's like the fucking Minecraft Flatlands. Where are we? What the fuck? We're in the fucking back rooms below. <laughs> Just keep going this way. Look, we're running the opposite yeah. way. Look, you can see the building oh, over there. Yeah, we just we just went over the far Oh my god, look at this. What? You can see the sky yeah, you can is... just see the skybox perfectly. Yeah, yeah, that was all the fog. Well, I think we're definitely winning right now. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh what the fuck? This is fucking oh, scenic. The fog again. Well, I'm running towards the That's... sun. Or the moon, or whatever the fuck this is. Run run again to the moon or to the sun. <laughs> this could be an album cover. <laughs> Let me let me run for a bit. Like this. Oh, that goes so fucking hard. No way. You should dance in front of the moon. Wait, dance now. Oh my god, it's so epic. Holy shit. Oh, we got. <laughs> <laughs> That's only hazard level A. Don't worry. Whoa, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. I need one more. Yeah, combined here. Is it, is it good? Yeah. Come you're on. good. <laughs> right, come. Come! <laughs> come! <laughs> You're telling me to aggressively come as well. Come! Oh, and also don't forget about Surfshark VPN. You can use the link in the description for a super sweet deal, and it'd really help me out if you clicked it. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> he fucking exploded! <laughs> what? Oh man. Oh. <laughs> I took zero full damage. Oh! I'm inside the ship and I can't move. Oh! Okay, you get to the left. <laughs> pick, pick it up. And you can have a look. This didn't help me at all. Oh! oh my. Oh my god.
Charon. How did that work? What the fuck? <laughs> 